Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back at your gaming and today we're gonna look at Scourge of War Gettysburg and we're gonna look at the mod called Garnier's Campaign Mod or known as GCM Mod it's a single player and multiplayer mod what it does, it gives you uh, big battles where you play as a brigade I believe and you're just gonna go through a lengthy campaign where you can lose people, you recruit new people it's a very great mod and I really want to show you this game because it's a pretty cool strategy game and I don't think many people play it. There is a very um, loyal fan base to these games but I don't think it ever reached the bigger audience. But it's a great game so I just wanted to show you. There's also a scourge for Waterloo but it doesn't have this mod and this mod makes it so much more fun to play the game because you play a real campaign where things aren't set in stone you don't play the official way the civil war played out so you might win or you might lose but it does affect the rest of your campaign so let's dive into it shall we so you go to this website at top of here sowmp.com gcm then you go to download, uh, you have to register first by the way before you can download it so once you have registered and you downloaded it you will get this one and here you can create a single player or a multiplayer setup uh, we're gonna dive into the single player so what we're gonna do is we're going to game we're gonna say start campaign because we're gonna start a new one so we can choose, do we want to play as the uh, Union or the Confederates or we can let the computer pick one. I go for the Union, I just like the blue outfits more. I don't know why. They, they just look like more army wise and I prefer that. Uh, nothing against the Confederate people. Beside their political points of view, but let's not dive into that. Um, we're just gonna play as the the army looking guys. So here you can create your character, you can say what state is he from. Now I'm not an American so I know New York is pretty much in the north. I believe Ohio is. I have no idea really. Rhode Island? I guess so. Let's see if we get different ones if we... Oh, okay. Wait, didn't see Kentucky in both? I don't know enough of this war to know who was on what side. So, by all means, please tell me. Okay, well, everyone goes for New York, so I will go for Ohio. You can, you can select your first name here. There is a whole list, so let's pick something with a J, because... Well, my name is Jor. So let's go for Joel. That sounds the closest. Initial J, and then we can pick last name. They give you a lot of options. Jesus. Adapter is the last name gaming, but let's go for that's our gags that one sounds nice. So many last names. Yeah. So Joel J Gax, so that's Okay, then we enter the campaign name. Versus brother versus brother. Say okay. So now we'll start creating the single player campaign. This might take a few minutes, but it's awesome. It, okay, so it created. It will give you your own page, so you can see several things here. You can see who you are. You are, are a major general. Oh, and it's divisions, sorry, not brigades, but divisions. So you will see how many troops you have. So I got 
uh, this guy Colonel George B. Kerr wait yeah yeah this these are my troops so I can see the experience the ability command control leadership now this will all change over the whole campaign just as the numbers here uh, you will lose people you will recruit people uh, you will get to see if people got missing or wounded wounded people and missing people might return later new recruits will join so over the whole campaign your army will grow or decrease in size depending on how well you do so right now we got 3445 troops there are currently no wounded currently no missing we got 12 cannons and that's the pretty cool thing if I capture cannons during a mission or during a battle they will add to my total cannons so I can build out my amount of cannons by just conquering the enemy cannons anyway let's go back here so we created our campaign then we're gonna say continue campaign now I already have my own one from before so what we're gonna say is this choice brother versus brother we're going to click continue so now it will create the battle for us <coughs> so battle four of uh, five two four six seven has been created fight the battle and scourge of war and the click continue campaign to record it Okay, so um, yeah. So what we're gonna do now? We press here on Start Scourge of War. It will say that the battle has been created. So we're gonna let it load up. Okay, what you're gonna do now is you go to single player. Then you go to use the scenarios, and you will see the last battle four, no five, two, four, six, seven. That was the one that they created for us. Now what we can see is we got two hours. The battle starts from 10 to 12. That's the uh, time you always have for for battles, at least so far. And I played a whole bunch. So you will see Division Major General Joel J. Gex. That's me. Okay, launch scenario. All right, so we're starting here. Um, what you can see is this is my army. It's a division, so not a brigade, but a division that we are controlling. Uh, one guy here is three guys in real life, so you can see how massive the armies are in this game. And I'm not the only one, so let's go over here. And we see the AI, and they got a pretty big army too. And there's more guys over here and here, so. You get an idea how big and massive the battles were. Now if you get lost you press on the me and we go here. So this is my Major General Joel J. Gex that we just made. And we aren't gonna do much right now because we are waiting for the orders. But as you can see I got uh, three brigades and two artillery uh, units at my disposal or two artillery batteries now if I take the enemy ones they will be added up to these guys eventually so you can have a huge battery now we can see the messenger approaching so that means the commanding officer is sending orders we're gonna press the plus button to speed up time you can only do that so much so Let's see what he has in mind for us. Um, did he just disappear? Was it because I pressed the M button? Oh boy. Did I break the game? March to the area shown on your map and hold it against any enemy units that may come your way. Any enemy unit in that area are to be attacked or driven out. Cool. Okay, so I have to go that area. So what we're gonna tell our guys, because 
this is my main guy I'm gonna tell him to move up there and you see all my guys are moving but we're gonna take the road and now all my guys will take the road towards the area so let's have a look-see and see what's a good position to hold Okay. so we probably want to keep an eye on the north and on the north east so we're gonna pretty much set up here where we got a good overview it's probably gonna take this area or shall I go here let's see my guys are marching it's nothing special right now um, that's oriented you can see in the bottom a compass here so now we're facing north so that means we are here and we're looking that direction that makes it a bit easier to see where you are and where you want to play stuff now, that's the end of the map so I'm thinking I'm gonna set up my guys where they got a good view so when it's day no so I'm probably gonna put them here it's a big open field if the enemy comes we will destroy them with with my cannons so I will tell my leader go here and what I'm gonna do is tell the rest to be in columns and everyone else will move behind him I will tell him to keep following the roads so now calculates the path and then we say that one okay cool 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 let's take my army on the move so my guys are moving sweet so let's speed up time Now the terrain does have influence on your troops, so uh, if you have a river, they will take slower to cross it. If you move through forest, then you are hidden and stuff like that. Everything plays into the strategic parts of a battle. So that's pretty cool. I can just watch this forever. Just marching of the troops towards the destination. And this is the fastest I can go with the time speed up. Now once we arrived I will show you the take command and why that's useful. Because right now it doesn't serve me any purpose. Otherwise I have to tell every brigade where to go. Now as you noticed there was a messenger and that's the cool part about this game. The messenger system. You can play it as complex as you want. You can play as just your commander. And even just watch from him in a third person view and give your orders through messengers to your troops and everything it's very complicated you really need to know what you're doing but it's awesome if you if you want to play like that I don't because I'm not smart enough for that I'd rather watch my troops from above and give them orders where I need them to go to and that's where the uh, take command comes in place as well and I shall explain that once my troops have arrived how far are we? we are here, ok so you see the red ones here that means our guys are in contact as part of the enemy so we got the confederate here and our guys moving here so if we slow down time uh, we don't have to worry and now the battle has started the first guys 10 15 are in contact with the enemy and they are engaging. Now they're rushing towards the position. I think they're going for the cannons, but I'm not sure what they're up to. Okay. Now, as you can see, they got uh, a mission goal, so they won't send all their troops to just attack the enemy. Everyone has their specific part in the battlefield. What are my guys doing? We are still marching, so we're going up here and then we're moving there. 
So that means we got enemies to our south east so we know we're gonna put a battery up here with some troops and we're gonna put a battery north uh, northeast southeast and you can see we already are losing some guys here or the AI is but that's okay he got a huge army on the way so if he really wants to probably can crush them though they do have a lot of cannons guys and speed up time again and the battle is over there so it's pretty close to my position you can hear the sounds of war now my guys are just on walking mode so otherwise they get really tired that's also a thing that plays in this game you got people getting tired you get people getting scared you have a whole moral system and when they run, they run. You pretty much lost them. Well, sometimes they come back. Now the maps I'm playing on are the GCM maps. So not the uh, ones that you play on in the, the Daddy Birds vanilla version. But that's okay. These do their job nicely. I think the uh, Getty Birds one are a bit more detailed with towns and stuff but here you can just have massive battles on a big map so that's good so it seems like the big battle is happening here the confederates has moved their troops up to this position and you can see the pure slaughter that's going on now we got some guys in melee combat and all these bodies got some guys on the run yeah I really like this game okay he's setting up I'm not sure what he's doing Who are those guys they're wearing Christmas hats never seen those guys before, that's cool. So let's keep an eye out on our own. Uh, okay, so it seems we have spotted something over here. So I best get ready and make sure that I'm in position where my guys are. My cannons seem to be way up ahead. Not sure if I like that because they're a bit unprotected. Then again, they can deal the first blow. So what did I say? We're gonna move. Northeast, so they're gonna park over here. Oh no, that's my, uh, that's just the Oh yeah, we got an enemy over here, and that's the General Robert E. Lee. Ooh, Ooh that's a big price. Now my cannons won't shoot at him, but I might be able to send in my troops. See if I can skirmish him. See if I kill him. Ooh. Ooh, the damn hero of the Union. Or capture him, whatever. Now with this mod, it's only uh, infantry and artillery. There is no cavalry. Online, I think you can, but not here. But look at this! What a massive battle! Now our guys at the skirmish seems like they are forming up lines here. They are ready to make their stand. But look at this. Look at the amount of cannons. 
Holy crap. Anyway, I think my guys should be at the location about now, so let's focus on my job. Get in position, you bastards. Move, move, move. I wonder if Robert E. Lee is still somewhere out there. He should be. Yeah, he is. So we might send one unit to see if we can capture him. I doubt we can. But you can intercept uh, messengers, so that's cool. Because if he sends out orders and they get intercepted, then his guys over there don't know what they're supposed to do. So maybe he says, okay, you need to retreat. Or maybe they are sending a message, we need backup right now. And then you intercepted that, so the backup will never arrive. Because this guy who is leading the Confederacy right now doesn't know that his guys need backup. That's what I really like about this game. You have a sense of war and that things are really happening. Okay, so let's uh, start taking charge. So take charge. I will do this because now I can micromanage my troops as I see fit and they will do whatever I tell them to do. You take charge. You're gonna stay up here. You take charge. Watch you here. Now I know the battle is over there, so I want that flank covered. Now, where is my officer for. Oh, here he is. At least that's one of them. So I will set these guys up here. Form up your battery. Okay. Oh, and take command. Now I'm using take command is this button here. I'm using the GMC uh, keys, GCM keys. So press one to take command. Now they will do exactly what I tell them to do. They won't uh, fight on their own initiative. You can have that, do you? You can give away as much as you like to the AI. I just prefer to uh, have a bit of command over here. And they advise with this mod to just uh, have control yourself, because of reasons, I suppose. Uh, we're gonna have you look up northeast and cover that sector. Here. Now his guys are in position, so unlimber, so set up your cannons. Now I prefer to keep the AI choosing their targets and whatever. Otherwise I have to micromanage that as well. So let's have you cover that flank. Just in case an enemy decides to show up there. If that's the case, we're gonna move these guys to turn that direction. Park up here. And move you guys with you. Now the commander. We're gonna move up here as well. Your guys are gonna stand over here. Just in case we need to move you. Now what we gonna tell our commander in chief or that's the president isn't it? What we gonna do is we're going to my guy, it's this one, we go to orders, we're gonna send message, we're gonna send to Major General John F. Reynolds, we're gonna give him the information that we have arrived at the objective. 
sent. Now my messenger will inform him that I'm in position so he knows that I'm here. Now we already got confederate troop retreating. That's always a good side. But that doesn't mean we are winning so... Now I can take command over each of these little How do you call it? Are those the brigades? No, th this whole thing is a brigade. So, if I want to take this one, for example, this one, this thing didn't say charge, and now I can give him separate orders. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak around that damn bastard. We will see if we can capture Robert E. Lee. You unlimber. So my cannons are ready for any enemy contact that might come our way. Now I have the suspicion that there might be a big troop movement coming in later. But let's have a look at the battle, shall we? Because this is. They just surrendered. Look at this battle, isn't it lovely? Yeah, it doesn't have the graphics that uh, Total War has, but this game has so much more behind it. And once you get used to the uh, graphics, I don't mind them, I'm an old gamer. 34 if you believe it but I'm used to old graphics so I'm really not bothered I think they have a certain charm but look at this look at how many bodies there are on the ground and they stay so you can have an idea how taxing this game would be on your uh, computer All these guys, all these animations. I'm European myself, I also have Scourge of War, but I still prefer this one over uh, Scourge of War Waterloo. I don't know, I think the Civil War has something more than the uh, Napoleon War. Okay, so the Union has sent in uh, more troops to the big battle. Now we are still unengaged. But, they spotted someone over here, so... Need to be careful. Now is Robert E. Lee still standing there? Yes, he is. Now, Mr. Lee, that's your mistake. The marching music, always nice. These guys, they're just gonna be sent wherever they need it. Check how big the map is. And look at the battle from above. We got guys fleeing, we got guys moving in. We got a nice line battle between these two. They are slowly falling back. Now flanking is a real important thing here because you do way more damage if you flank them in the side or from behind but you don't want to have crossfire because then you shoot your own guys and they get ready to fire there has been a uh, melee battle over here So now it's 10.45, so the battle will take about one more hour. Uh, let's go to my guys over here.
I do wonder if I can capture Mr. Leo here. Did they create him with his beard? I hope so. Yes, they did. I think. Now for me, my guys, it's not a really exciting battle because we have been parked to the side, but sometimes we are in the middle of it or we have to hold the location where the enemy is marching through. So every time you play, things will be different. <coughs> now he has set up his cannons really well, so he is dominating the battlefield. But the Union is having his troops in reserve pay. Uh, what's going on here, guys? Why are you marching away? Are you setting up somewhere else? <coughs> we also have guys over here. Oh gentlemen, if you capture Mr. Lee, you're gonna be heroes. You might want to stop playing the music when you're going to sneak up on him. Kinda gives it away. General Lee isn't that stupid. It's not like standing there, hey, the birds are whistling a nice tune. Now normally to engage uh, batteries or other troops you press the charge and then you can intercept stuff like that. Uh, messengers are intercepted by the AI themselves. If they run into your troops then bam you got it. Now you see stuff over here. You see what rivals they use. Um, the reload time takes them 23 seconds to reload. This is how much ammo they have. Their moral is pretty high. They are rested because I didn't tell them to run. Now, he has support bonus, defensive terrain bonus, and the unit is resting, so he isn't getting tired by just marching like this. He's getting cover from the woods, so he feels pretty good about himself. Must be so scary to stand there and hear all those battle sounds. Now once they have reached the border of the forest, and it does decrease their movement speed as you can see. Or not. You might not be able to see it. I wonder what he's going to do. Is he supposed to hold here? Oh, he's moving up to the battle. Well, we didn't get our orders yet. Might be that my commander has told me, get your ass over here, we need your help right now, but that the message gets intercepted, we won't know. Now once they are close, we're gonna tell them to charge and see if we can surprise General Lee. I'm not sure if you can capture or kill uh, the commanding officers. I believe they can get killed, but they hardly seem to do so. I mean the dying part, uh, right guys. He might just run off. Yeah, he's running. He's like, nope. Well, that's too bad. No glory for you guys. Let's go to the battlefield, because that's way more exciting than watching my troops do nothing. Just look at it. And they got a bonus, because they are on the higher ground, so they are really shooting into this. But the Union isn't giving up and at the looks of it they are winning this the infantry battle although the confederacy is moving through the woods but it looks like the union has this one uh, in the pocket well 
Well, at least they are fighting or winning. Is it? But there are massive losses. Massive, massive losses. That's pretty accurate because a lot of people died in the Civil War. One of the more brutal wars of its time. Now, for those sensitive to this flag, sorry, but historical accurate. I'm not gonna say shit about it. Now, he's supplying his troops because you do run out of ammo. But I wonder if they're gonna do a full charge on these cannons. Uh, with these you can decide what uh, formation they should take line formation I can say go guard someone column skirmish etc there are many formations but then again this is the civil war it's not like they had a lot of other formations I guess charge well they won't be shooting at him I wonder if that's some code of honor or what. I would have shot the crap out of him. Then again, you needed him to uh, negotiate the peace, I suppose. So. There's a lot of melee battle here, that's brutal. You really don't want to end up in a melee. But look at all those bodies on the ground. And where the lines to before they got slaughtered. So let's speed up time again. You don't want to wait two real hours. I'm not gonna make a video of two hours, no one's gonna watch two hours. Oh, that smoke, I just love that about these wars. I got something for the DD line battles. Give me a game with line battles and I will play it. I love it. Now I'm like Napoleonic Wars just for that. Got all kinds of mods, crazy line battles. was this game uh, for Half-Life 2 I believe it was a mod that was all about fine battles that was pretty fun too and my guys are still without any action so seeing that we are unable to capture Mr. Lee we're gonna do something different Charge! We should have boxed them in, we should have sent troops all around them, I guess. Oh well. Oh, 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 what do we see here? Troop movement! Yeah, he is heading for me. Okay, guys, get ready. Move up here. Get ready and run.
My batteries are opening fire. Gonna have these guys over here. Now why do we want them over here at the walls? Because it gives extra. You might want to take charge because otherwise the troops will just do their own thing and ignore you. Ignore that you told them to move forward. Now he's only sending a small squad right now. It shouldn't be too hard for me to kill him. But nonetheless he might be able to deal some damage to me. Now, here you can see casualties. That Those are the casualties on my side and the enemy side. So far no casualties to report on my side. My guys will open up. Oh, he has three casualties. Coward is retreating already. Yeah, that's it. Go run. Go run over. They did open up late, so I guess the forest wasn't blocking their view. Yeah, he's getting the hell out of there. Screw it, I'm going home. And that's so smart that he's running into the big battle. Oh boy. Yeah, lots of troops are moving in. Oh boy. Doesn't look good for the Union today. Although they got a whole line over here. Those will be out of range of the cannon, so if they manage to. But look at this, holy shit. Oh boy. So many people are gonna die here today. They all seem to go for these guys. They must be so tired right now. Now these guys are laying down. Means they are a bit more protected against the uh, shells that the enemy is firing. But look at this. Massive, massive battles. Yeah, they decided we're not gonna lay down there anymore. never seen these many cannons together so the enemy really did make a smart move over there the AI in general is pretty decent pretty alright pretty good they will try to flank you and stuff like that and when you play the game even the vanilla one um, things will be different every time So sometimes the enemy shows up where you didn't expect them. I'm a bit confused about the uniforms because I see in this uniform on the Union side as well. So if any of my viewers is pretty more into the Civil War in America, maybe you can tell me why. Why are they wearing uniforms? Are those deserters from the Union that have joined the Confederacy? or? How does it work? Because I do see some guys wearing the blue stuff as well here. Ooh, those are really close. Now, I do like that with the comparison you indeed have that uh, what appears to be the, the professional army yeah, and more of the yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying it correct. Sorry if I'm saying it correct. Maybe it will. You got these guys all in the same uniform, and then you have these, and they all just wearing whatever they're wearing. But 
that's why I like to play as the Union more, because you all got these blue uniforms pretty much all the same. Is he still retreating over here? Oh! Is he marching towards me? He didn't add enough yet, did he? Now these cannons will turn as well, because they can. So far they only killed three guys, so that's not too good. But they have to cross a river, so I'm gonna tell these guys to come up here. And speed it up, go, go, go. Now all your soldiers will gain experience, so you will have uh, troops becoming better and better. Now here's the kicker. You can have, for example, these guys being the best soldiers you ever had. And then the time of service ends and they just go home. You no longer have them at your disposal. Because that happens. Well, not during a battle, but after the battle when you go back to the website, it will tell us what's going on with your troops, if they are wounded and stuff. And yeah, they go home. Those on the one. And what we will... Oh, he's running away. Can't wait. It's probably just trying to see how many guys we got over here. Now, Robert E. Lee is still hiding in there. Oh, we got a second battlefield. So yeah, you had enemy troops moving here while we had guys moving down there as well. So it means they were trying to reach this group, I think. But as you can see, we are still holding out here. But I have no idea if we're doing good or not. We are holding the position, but that's about it. Yes, these guys on reserve, and th that's the hard part when, as a player, you get the mission stay on reserves and hold your position. Because you have to. It's not like when you're standing over there and you say, oh, I won't move my troops here, or I'll help them. No, because your commander has decided you have to stay there for a reason. And that reason is, this battle has lost. And they're trying to march more to the south. And you have this battle line ready to take them out. It's an absolute massacre. This one seems to be more in our favor, I think. I said that while these guys are running away. The Fred is slowly pushing up. Now I only own the Scourge for Gettysburg version. I don't have the uh, Anthem edition or whatever it's called with all the uh, expansions. So you can just play the mod with just the basic game. And that's cool. Because you can do these kinds of campaigns instead of the official one. You're probably gonna have a look into that one as well at some point. So you can see the difference between this and the original game. Ah, okay. Yeah, we lost this one. So they have managed 
push up ahead. Now we got some artillery batteries over here, they're still firing. Holy damn, see it all those people. Now keep in mind, one body here is three dead bodies here, so this is a real mess. It's not good. Very many people die. Okay, let's speed up time again. Still half an hour till the battle is complete. I'm still unengaged. Yeah, they sent me to the more safer spot, I guess. For my troops, they should be thankful. Because they... Uh, get to live another day a few casualties but that's about it from a little skirmish that we had but here entire brigades are just slaughtered, they're dead I won't go home anymore this is why the graphics are a bit more basic because it has to do so much it has to show all these bodies that won't disappear it has all these things going on in the background underneath the hood of the engine underneath the engine uh, whatever the word is all these decisions all these okay well that's not looking too good but we had a pretty good line over here but it seems that they are about to get over one but these guys here are winning Looks a bit. There's only two more of those. Oh. Are those retreating guys or what? Well, what I can do is tell my commander that over 20 minutes is not useful because the march alone will take much longer. But we can. we can tell him. We can ask him if he has new orders. So then you go to send message and let's see orders I believe um, no that's just for my guys here's the support stuff um, Now the cool thing is, is if you do see an enemy and you do tell them they are north of you, then the commander does act on it. And if you're playing against players, you can just type anything here. You can say, hello, how are you today, So. And it will arrive here. But we... Let's hit refresh. Yeah, all in my position and our condition is good and ready for further orders maybe I should have sent that a bit more earlier so he would knew oh I've got still some guys over here they can, can attack these bastards outflank them destroy them oh yeah you can see how slowly the battle um, evolves. In two hours they've been fighting mostly over this sector and slowly the confederacy pushed up. And then another battle commenced over here. Oh, we've got some one popping up here. Dangerous. So we have three casualties, four casualties, four casualties compared to over the 400, 4000, whatever you are laying over here.
Yeah, I think it's uh, fair to say that we did not win today. No sir, we didn't. We did not. We are losing our batteries over here. They are retreating, so maybe they are lucky. So the enemy won't have their hands on it. Okay, so now, but luckily for me, there's only five more minutes. But it seems like we got some troop movement going up here. Oh no. Yeah, some cannons. That would have been my lucky day, by the way, because I would have intercepted them and I would have some more cannons to my... Uh... Brigade... Division, sorry. Well, not much I could do on my part. I had my orders, I had to stay here. I would have loved to set my troops and show you some fighting for myself but that's it so let's check how bad things went our casualties four and we killed 40 or everybody so oh we only lost one guy so one got killed so the rest is either wounded or missing in action but this is just me So my score was 800, no that's his score, sorry. My score is 10.1. Now let's go to the Confederacy. Robert E. Lee. He had a score of 534. Wait, what? So we won? Holy shit, we won! I think. Jesus Christ, our casualties 9,797. Enemy casualties 10,028. Shit. Yeah, we won. All right, so we say close battle. We can save to replay if we want to. We can look it back at some point. We can say exit battle now. Then we're gonna go to resign. Once we did that, this is still not uploaded. It's still the same. You can see nothing changed. But here comes the cool part, if we say game, continue campaign, and we say brother versus brother, we say continue. If you have finished battle 52467, click record battle to continue campaign. So we say record, we won, well, we did, he say okay. Now, you will look up your battle, so today is the 20th. Now I'm European, so this really sucks for me, because you guys do it all wrong. You say the month first and then the date, what the hell is wrong with you guys? So I know it's the 20th, and you take the most recent one, so 12.48, yep. And we say open. Now it's recording the battle. And now stuff will gonna happen over here in a moment. Downside of me not seeing any battle is that my guys didn't gain experience. So stuff has happened. Troops remaining. Troops remaining. They had so many troops, 
so many left. Casualties, 31% of what we had, they 38. Killed, wounded, missing. They got a whole bunch more missing. Slightly less wounded, more killed. Number of objectives, three objectives. Blah, blah. No idea what this is. Guess this is where we were on the map. No idea. Oh, this is where we started. Okay. It's not really working. Now we're gonna click on my name. You will see here. Oh, uh, troops. I sent in. 4,967, I have left 4,963, I had 12 casualties inflicted, I got 4 of mine, none got killed, oh that's good, 3 are wounded, 1 is missing, so that means one guy might have fled the battle, I don't know, but we have 3 wounded, so they are being treated, they, they could still die, so that's a thing. Your troops can still die when they're wounded, so they won't be returning. And they won't return the next battle, it can take a long time before they return, depending on how severe the wounds are. Now, we'll see guns. And inflicted by... Artillery. Huh. We only had four casualties, how do we end up with them? Oh, well. So yeah, uh, this website keeps track of your progress and when you want to start a new one uh, or continue your campaign you always click continue campaign it will generate a new battlefield with these numbers in mind that are shown here so uh, let's refresh now you see numbers of engagement they were in so you it also keeps track on how many battles they have fought it's pretty cool, pretty pretty cool. But it keeps all these stats in mind, who is dead, who is alive, who is there, how many troops, so whenever you continue a campaign it will deploy that many troops and not more. So in theory you can fight till the last man and then it's really over, or you get lucky and you get troops, because there are days going by so it's not like every continuation is the next day sometimes uh, when you do continue game it will just only adjust this one because then your guys are resting they are r and they are recruiting and stuff so they are making sure that you're ready for battle again so that's pretty cool so yeah that was Critch of War Gettysburg with the Garniers campaign mod if it looks interesting to you, I can highly suggest you get Gettyberg and just download this mod or wait till sales because uh, Slaterin has sales a few times a year and the prices drop significant. Uh, you can buy the whole set complete for about 25 euros, I guess that's 25 dollars as well. So if you're really interested, uh, you can wait for that or just buy it now and dive right into the action. You can also play multiplayer, I'm not a big fan of uh, multiplayer sessions, so I won't be doing that, or maybe with some people that I know and that might play this game, but yeah. Pretty cool, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, bye bye.